Hello, Grade 6. This is Mr. Brocklehurst. We're at the top of page 20. I'm going to walk you through the first example here. Um, the first thing we want to look at is the investigative question. That's what you see here. How does the temperature of water affect how long it takes a pill to dissolve? These all take the same form. How does blank affect blank? So I'm going to outline the first how does and the effect. And in the first blank, what always comes first in our experiments is the independent variable, our IV, our independent variable. In this case, it is the temperature of the water. In the second blank, we have our dependent variable. In this case, it's how long it takes a pill to dissolve. And that is our dependent variable. So we'll put both of those in at this point in time. Pause the video as needed for catch-up time. Okay, so in summary, once again, the independent variable always comes first, the dependent variable always comes second. That is also true in our hypothesis. So we're going to take this independent variable, in this case, the temperature of water, and we can rephrase that. We can just call it water temperature. And we can write about it here in the if statement, if the water temperature. Okay. But remember, independent variable comes first, the dependent variable comes second. And this is where we have to remember that the independent variable is what the scientist purposely changes. So we want to decide how we're going to purposely change the water temperature. We can either increase it or we can decrease it. In this case, since there, it could go either way, I'm just going to put down the water temperature increases. And that will be a start. Then we can talk about what happens with the dependent variable. A quick reminder that the dependent variable always comes second. So in this case, it's how long it takes a pill to dissolve. I could just write, you know, the pill will dissolve in either more time or less time. This is a prediction. And for this part, I'm going to recall that I have some background information here. I know that the hot chocolate powder dissolves faster in hot water. So I'm going to say it's going to dissolve faster if the temperature increases. Or I could say in less time. And that's another way of just stating it. Okay. And so when I get to the because statement, I'm actually going to use that same um, background knowledge that I wrote before. This is the reason that I'm making this prediction. It's because the hot, pot, the hot chocolate powder generally dissolves faster in hot water, and that's why I'm making a prediction in this lab that it will do the something similar. Pause the video as needed to allow catch-up time. 